Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will go through a numeracy demo lesson with you. There's a link on the description below for you to practice yourself after the video. So let's get into it. Most of us will click on standard test. Okay, there are another two options here. So you can um, click it and try it yourself to see what's the difference. Okay, so we just click on standard test. And these code will be provided by your teacher will display on the board. So you just need to copy these down. And then after that, you just click next. And these code will be provided by your teacher with a piece of paper along with your name. So you need to enter this code in and these are your code. Okay, so you entered it in, then you click next. So you need to confirm that is you. So we just click yes. Now you just click test. Now please have a look at the top sections. We have a plus here. So if you click on this, you can either make it into 150%, 200 or 300 and so on. So if you make three, 150%, so it's bigger. So easy for you to read if needed. But please note that the next and the flag button will be down here. So you have to move up and down. Okay. So let me just make it back to 100%. And you can hide the time by click hide time. And you want to show again to so just click on this clock. Okay, keep that in mind. And then these speakers here, if you click on the place button, it will read the question for you. But you do need to have your headphone on. Okay, so keep that in mind. So I don't need that. So just click the speakers. Now this is the ruler. So if you click on it, so it will appear. So you to move it, you go to the ruler, you click on this, and then you move around. To turn or rotate the ruler, you just click on the red button, move the mouse on the mouse pad, okay? You click on the mouse pad, and you just move. Then to hide it, you click it again. And this is the protractor. You click on it, it will appear, and you click on the protractor and move around. Okay, you just move left, right, wherever. And to rotate, you go to the red button, you click on it and just move. Okay, so rotate. And again, to hide it, you click on the protractor, this icon again. And please note that there's no calculator here because this is non-calculator part. And with calculator part, the calculator will appear on this, okay, somewhere there. So let's get into it. Henry collects bottles to recycle. He puts them into crates. Each crate holds 20 bottles. Henry fills three crates and has four bottles left over. How many bottles has Henry collected all together? Each crate holds 20 bottles. So you got 20, 40, 60 and add four, so 64. So the answer is 64. So we go to this button here, which is click on it. If you think you make a mistake, so you move to, let's say 72, you click on this. So we will select the right one for you. But in this case, I think the answer is 64. So you just click. And then we go to next question by just clicking the next button here. There were nine books on each of four cells. Mary arranged these books so that the top cells was empty. And each of other three cells has an equal number of books. How many books were then on each of these? three cells. So first of all, we know that nine books on each cell and four cells all together. So nine times four is 36. So 36 books all together. So then we need to place into three cells equal amount of books. So that means 36 divided by three. So that give me 12 because three times 12 is 36. So I just click on the box and I just type 36. And then I think it's correct. So you just click next. Rick is a manager at a shoes company. He noticed that 75 of their 1,000 special orders are for purchase for purple shoes. Type these proportions as a decimal in the box below. So what we do, we just go 57 divided by 1,000. 57 means the decimal point right at the end of seven. So we just need to move three decimal places to the left. So that is, Move one, so it becomes 5.7. We move another one, becomes 0 0.57. We move one more, becomes 0 0.057. So 
So click on the box, we type 0 0.057. And if I'm not 100% sure, or you want to go back and check it again, so you can um, click on the flag button here, and you can come back later. Okay, let's try this. Okay, click it, and then I click next. Tim, look at the menu. There are three courses. He can choose a starter, a main meal, and a dessert. So we know that for main meals, we have three courses. And starter, we have two, and then desserts is two. The question is, which two of these show a way to calculate the number of different three course meal team can choose? So we have three for main course, two starters, and two desserts. So therefore, should be two times two times three. Or can be three times two times two, or can be two times two times three. Okay, so we have these options. So the first one, two for the starter, three for the main course, and two for the dessert. We will click that, and this option is wrong, so it should be times all together. And the third option is also wrong, it should be multiply instead of add. And the last one is three times two times two is correct. So we just click next. Now that we've finished the first part of the test, so we can either click no options, so we go back to the questions and we check it again, or we can move forward to next part by click yes. So I just click no, because I want to go and check my, um, my other questions. So then it pop up like this. So one question that I flagged. So now I just click on this question here, that is question three. And there you go. So now I think it's correct. I checked. So I just unflag it and I click next and click next. So now I just want to move on next part. So I click yes. So this is calculator part because it's show on here. Okay. So keep that in mind. Match these events to their probability. A toss coins will show heads. So that means it can have head or tail. So that means it's 50-50. So we can just click here. Of course, if you make a mistake, you by click on it again and it will be selected for you. Okay, so let me click it again. A toss coin will land on either a head or a tail. So if you toss a coin, it will definitely either head or tail. So which means the probability is one. So just click on it. A toss coin will show a six. So it's impossible. A coin will either have head or tail. There's no number. So the probability is zero. So there you go. And I think it's correct. So you can click next. Look spins the arrow on this spinner once. Place this event into order from impossible to certain. First statement is landing on a number that less than five. So we know that the smallest value on the spinner is five. So there is no number that less than five. So it's impossible. So what I do, I go to this statement here. I click the mouse pad, so drag it, and I move to impossible. Okay, because the answer is impossible. And the next statement is landing on an odd number. So if you look at the spinner, we have one, two, three odd numbers and two even numbers. So therefore, the probability is more than landing on an even number. So that means we drag this to this side here, certain, because one is certain and the one before that is more than 50%, right? Or half, more than halfway. So therefore, we leave it here. So there you go. And landing on a number less than 30. So all these numbers are less than 30. So therefore, it's certain 100%. Okay. So therefore, we just drag it down here. So there you go. Landing on a number divisible by 10. So only two numbers that are divisible by 10, 10 and 20. So therefore, the probability is less than a half. So you know that is in here. So I click on the statement. I just drag it. Okay. Hold the mouse pad and drag it down and put in the box. So there you go. So then I think it's correct. I just click. So I just click next. Now we just need to match this vertice with the right shapes. 
So first one is a triangle. So the vertice is three. So then we, what we need to do, we just go to the shapes here. We click on the mouse pad and we drag along to the correct answer to three vertices. And if I think I make a mistake, so you go to the line here and it turned red. So you just click on it, it will delete it for you. Or you can click on the three vertices with the mouse pad and you drag across here. So there you go, you release it. So it gives you the answer. And this shape here has four vertices. So four corner, okay? So now you just click on these shapes and you drag across to this. So there you go. Now the last one, you can just click on this side here if you wish, and then you drag across on this side. So there you go. And I think it's answer correct. So I just click next. So there you go. Kara stands on the paper in the middle of the garden facing third path. So that means stand in middle here and facing this way. She worked with three pavers. So you go one, two, three. Kara then turns north and walk three pavers. So you go up north, one, two, three. She then turn east and walks two pavers. So one, two. So that is where she stand now. So I just click on it. So there you go. So I just click next. Next one. So we need to select all the triangles in the 10 gram below. So all the triangles. So to do this, you just go to this triangle here, you click, and then you go this triangle, you click. And if you accidentally click this, this one here, that is not what you want. You can click again, it would deselect it for you. Okay. So this is a triangle. This is a triangle. This is a triangle. So there you go. And you think it's correct and then just click next. Otherwise, you can um, click back to go to previous question if needed, okay? So, or flagged if needed. So I click next. Myra buys a thousand plants at $2.25 to sell at the weekend markets. She sells 350 of these plants for $6 each. Myra sells the rest of the plants in a sale for a dollar each. Together, Myra make Let's check it out. A profit or loss and this number. To work out profit or loss, so we need to work out how much she made all together and then we minus the um, the cost that she needs to spend on the plants, okay? To buy if you wish. So first of all, let me just access the calculator because you're allowed to use this calculator here. So I just work out how much she get all together. So 350 for six dollars each and then the rest you sell for a dollar so if she had a thousand plants so we just work out how much left so just click one thousand we we minus 350 so that is 650 that she sell for a dollar each so her income for that will be 650 because a dollar each so 650 times a dollar so that means 650 and then we need to add 350 times six dollars that is her income from selling a thousand plants so to work out the profit or loss we just go 2550 minus the money she spent on buying these plants so which is minus 1000 that is the plants we time by 2.25 so there you go it's positive 500 that means she make a profit of 500 dollars so we just go to this option here so it's a profit and then 500 we select and then we click next of course you can hide the calculator by clicking on this calculator icon here just click it hide and I just click next to find out the length of this car so we need to use ruler so what we do we just click on this ruler here and click on the ruler using mouse pad and drag it and don't forget we need to start with zero okay now this is not starting at zero so we zero here okay so therefore is six centimeters okay so the answer is six centimeters so let me just hide the ruler first by clicking on the ruler icon 
so it's six centimeters and then it says click next now to measure this angle so we just need to click on this protractor here and we drag it across so make sure it's right in the corner here with the end of this land here so we drag it right here so that the right angle right on here okay keep that in mind and please remember we always start with zero so the zero is right inside here so we go this way and 110 degrees not 70 degree because we need to start with zero so therefore if the reading is 110 degrees so let me just type it on here click on this box 110 and we do not need to type the symbol degrees because it's already on here then what we do we just click next so there you go so we need to hide it by clicking on the protractor icon again so first of all we know that 85 play cricket 40 neither played cricket nor swam so first of all we know that the 40 here so we just click on this and we drag outside these two circle here so no swimming or cricket and we know that 85 play cricket and 75 swans so both are odd number so we only have one odd number here that is 25 so that should be in common okay so we just put them in and then we look at the cricket is 85 so to make it 85 we need to have 60 so just click on 60 and I just drag it and place in this box and then 50 so 50 plus 25 is 75 so swimming so that is correct so then I just click next and there you go we finished the test so we can finish the test by just click finished or if you have flagged any questions so you can click on this okay it will appear on here so you click on it you can go back and check it so now that we're finished so I just click the finish button and we just need to confirm we are finished. Okay, so just yes. There you go. Please let me know how you go on the comment below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.